Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's I'm Serena Nicole here, and if you want to see how I got my skin looking effortless and glowy like this, stay tuned to figure out my summer skincare routine and some hidden tips, tricks, and tools to use over the summer so it's your skin to just look flawless and nice and effortless during the summer. summer skincare routine is my citron body bar not even gonna hold you this citron body bar we're washing now um literally um like helps so well with like hyperpigmentation dark spots all things like that um because it has turmeric in it it is just so good at evening out your body skin tone and I feel like in the summer that is what you need um because bug bites they heal awkwardly um just like from tanning and all that stuff it just helps to even out your skin tone so so step one of my summer skincare routine I also wanted to note that the citron body bar can also be used on your face I just personally use a different face wash just because, but a lot of customers and a lot of people I know use it on their face just because um, it also helps with the same things that I was just mentioning, but just on your face. And a lot of people have issues with hyperpigmentation and things like that. So it is a great alternative. It's also really great if you have like oily skin. It doesn't add any like oils or extra moisture to your skin. So let me wash this off and let's wash our face. Okay, next step in my skincare routine is wash my face. I always, of course, wash my body in the shower, but I wash my face in the shower. We are going to be using my chamomile flower face wash. I have an OG label. I'm gonna put a picture of what it looks like now. And also the citron bar, what it looks like on my website. And I basically just squirt some foam into my hands. It's literally, a foaming face pump and I just like massage it into my face um, it's really good if you have oily skin or like combination skin and it's just such a lightweight good smelling um, face wash and it really helps to combat extra oil and acne on the skin so let me wash my face and I'll come back to my next step so Next, I take my rose water toner. I spray my face pretty liberally. Um, it really depends on you. And also, I've been watching a lot of different videos that say don't forget your neck. So, spraying it all over my face. And then I just fan it in until it dries. You're gonna see me use this again when I do my face mask and stuff, but that you will see later. Okay, after your rose water toner is basically dry, this is what your skin will look like. Um, it looks like just like a little dewy or whatever, um, but again, I wouldn't recommend not wearing moisturizer um, or whatever, I just wouldn't. <laughs> um, so next, I use about this much aloe vera I rub it into my hands get both my hands coated and then I just massage my whole face with it and it is literally like just feels super cool and refreshing especially if you would have like sunburn or some shit like that like 100% recommend you having some 99 whatever percent aloe vera and really taking it down your whole neck and everything moisturizing okay so this is just you know that then you just let it dry a little bit 
and your skin's kind of still looking the same. Again, I have really been trying to keep up with my moisture and skin hydration, so that's probably why my skin is not looking dry at all. I also have combination skin, so my skin makes its own oil. And I take literally like this much of my sun dry serum, and I just and I massage this into my face. Um, another great thing that I like about all my moisturizers is that not only just this one, both all of them, they have no added fragrance. None of my products have any added fragrances. If it's not a fragrance that you're getting from an essential oil or a honey or a butter or something like that, you're not gonna smell it. I don't think that I like fragrances at all. If it's not a necessary ingredient, I am not putting it in it. It just makes no sense to me. And I personally don't like fragrances on my face. They make me break out or they make me like irritated. And it's cute and nice, but for your face, I don't really think it's necessary. And then sometimes people wear, you know, colognes or, or perfumes and stuff because again these products are unisex so you know you don't want that type of excess smell so this is what the moisturizer looks like after i get it all rubbed in as you see it is a super light moisturizer like i do not look greasy at all like it literally looks like my skin if y'all could see me in the mirror it just looks like my skin so that's why I love to use this. It's a super lightweight moisturizer. Doesn't add any extra oils to your face even though it is an oil. And it really helps to balance out the natural oils that are occurring on your face. So then for body moisture, because again, this is a whole routine. Like we can't just do one thing with our face and not do our body. So I use my Mango Lavender Body Butter. This is a picture of what it looks like on the website. Again, all of my stuff is crusty and dusty. I've had it for the two years basically that I've been in business and I just refill it. Um, I literally take this on my body and it turns into a nice consistency like this. And if you could see the moisture on my body, literally, it's just such a nice glow. Um, Honestly, I recommend either this moisturizer or I have a pomelo body butter, which is this, but it has more citrusy smells like lemon, grapefruit, stuff like that. And it's amazing as a body moisturizer. Like, if I feel like body moisturizer, like you, it, it needs to be what it is all year round, truthfully. It's just the amount that you put on. Um, Cause no one's trying to be dry in the summer, have no cracked skin, nothing like that. And the less moisture that you have in, the, in your skin, it also um, makes it a lot difficult, a lot more difficult for your skin tone to kind of like even out or whatever, just cause your body is just, it's just dry. So it has no way to like regenerate anything or feed off the moisture molecules or anything like that. So I just massage my whole body and that is a typical face and body care routine. Now, let's get into extra care. I will see you guys later. I don't know how I could forget um, mentioning what I use for deodorant too when talking about face and body care. So I use Degree Motion Sense Ultra Clear Black and White Pure Clean or Pure Rain, whatever one. These are both two different ones. So I use this deodorant and then I use this spray. Um, I am a person who engages in physical activity and I, I don't know, I just like sweat, like, or I don't know, like perspire. I don't know, what's like a normal thing that you do during the day? Like, I don't know, I just go about the day and when I have the combination of these two things on, I feel like I smell my best. I feel like my underarms don't get irritated or anything like that. And it's anti yellow stain and white marks and it's sweat protection. Um, but I know that I have literally 
really tried to use an all natural deodorant, but um, I went through smelling not great. I have gone through having stains on like white shirts or whatever, um, and just like not pleasant things. And so I'm really trying to formulate a deodorant on my own. Um, that I can use that doesn't have any like, cause sometimes shea butters and things like that can have like those pigments um, that can make you have like stains and stuff like that. So I understand that, but that's not something that I want. So um, this is what I'm using for now. Everyone has their own deodorant choices. I can't exactly stand behind it. All I know is that it does what it needs to do. It doesn't irritate me. It doesn't, you know, do any weird shit like that. But yeah, can't believe I forgot to mention it. Okay guys, so it's a new day, it's a new dollar. So now we're talking about extra care. So normally, if I was doing my routine and we were doing the mask, I would just wash my face and then put the mask on and then after, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So this is like what you would do if you wanna treat yourself to a little face mask. And also, honorably mentioned while we're talking about extra care products is this Sweet Cocoa Lavender Body Scrub. It's really hard to get things focused on here when the words are so tiny. But um, I'm gonna put a picture right here. Um, I love exfoliating with this. Um, it's really good if you have like dry skin or something like that. Um, it'll just really help you in terms of like getting that skin to go away and you're making your skin super even. Apologies if y'all can hear my dryer. Hopefully it's not that loud. Um, okay, so first thing, I'm gonna take my Caring Clay Mask, put it right here, that's what it looks like, and I'm going to mix it with equal parts of apple cider vinegar. If you have um, sensitive skin, maybe mix it with apple cider vinegar and water or just water, but I definitely recommend at least putting some apple cider vinegar in it. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay y'all, so you don't need a lot. Literally, your face is not huge and you don't need a thick layer um, of the mask. So now I'm just mixing it with what looks like to me half apple cider vinegar and I'm just stirring it up. I like mine like an interestingly sticky but not too clay-like consistency. Then I apply a thin layer on my face. I don't get too, too close to my eyes or my hair just because you just, mm -mm, you just don't want to do that. This apple cider vinegar will make your eyes tear up sometimes. Um, let me just turn up a little bit. I think it just be the reaction of the apple cider vinegar with the mask, um, like with the clay. Um, it's like an acid. So. Here we are. And clay masks are really good for like balancing out um, the oil on your skin. Um, it also helps to take out bad oils that may exist on your skin. And kind of just leaves you with a detox and clean canvas um, so that's personally why I like to do them I wouldn't recommend doing a face mask um, every week I like to do it like every two weeks or something like that um, just because it is very detoxing um, for your skin so it's not something you want to do every week see you guys when it's dry Okay, y'all, in a perfect world, um, my clothes would have been not in the dryer the first time. Oh. Would have not been in the dryer the first time. I came on here, but this is the mask. Dry. Um, and now I'm about to wash it off and come back with how I finish up my face. So you also just see, I put it all down my chin. Cause you know you could really get blemishes like all down here. So, when this is washed off. Okay, y'all, so. Okay, y'all, so once the mask is washed off, as you see, my face is like not 
dry or anything like not, not dry I mean it's not like wet what the heck I mean it's not red my face is not red at all which is a really big plus from using this mask um literally it's super annoying when you have a mask and it makes your face super red you can't really put it on before you go out or anything but this literally just wash it off my face is not red at all so i'm going to take some rose water toner i put a label on it for y'all and spray my face I usually get it pretty hydrated. Then I'm going to follow up basically with the same things we did with the other routine and put some aloe on it. It's just an equate bottle and some sun dry serum. And I'll show you guys the final results. Okay, y'all, we gonna add in, we gonna add in one additional step using a facial steamer in the summertime using a facial steamer can be really good to help like your different serums and things like that penetrate into your skin so i got this one from amazon i'll put like a picture of it right here and a link in the description and you just fill up this little back piece right here and then you just get to steaming So after steaming, y'all can see my face looks very hydrated. Um, I just feel like after a clay mask, this is not necessary, but it just adds hydration back to your skin. Um, very similar to aloe, um, but steaming helps to open your pores, so that's like an additional thing. But that's a real big reason why I like to put aloe in my on my face at all times, honestly. Um, summer, winter, fall, spring, whenever. Um, because not only does it help with dark spots and things like that, but it really helps with keeping your skin hydrated. Um, but then again, remember that hydration and moisture are two different things. So if you use something like aloe or water, you know, to hydrate, you do have to seal that moisture in. So after putting on aloe, you want to just go on, you know, go about your day go outside like this um you would want to put on an oil the only times when i ever to be honest will just put on aloe is if i'm trying to like maybe dry up like a pimple or something like that and then sometimes i may leave off moisturizer for a little bit um just so it can like dry up but it's not something that i would do like on a normal basis so now i take some sun dry serum and just a little bit on each cheek and then again we moisturize this into the skin and you can put it on your mouth there's no weird taste or anything like that and you literally just massage it into your skin it's super great it has such a nice feeling um and as you continue to moisturize and rub it in it got less and less oily looking and more just like your skin but moisturized and you really don't need a lot and it just gives you like a natural glow okay guys so i know i'm still looking crazy but additionally in the summer one thing you want to make sure you're doing for your face is you want to make sure that you are drinking water um, you definitely want to stay hydrated in the summer. It's so easy to get dehydrated in the summer because, 
I mean, it's hot, you know, it's a lot going on, things like that. So stay hydrated. Um, it will really help with your skin. Try to, as much as you can, limit your intake of like, you know, fried foods and just things like that, just greasy and oily things, cause that, you know, whatever you put in your skin will end up being, you know, whatever is showing on your pores as well. So you do not want the excess oil and stuff like that. But this is my tips, tricks, recommendations, and then always just end it with some Coco Shea chapstick or some lemon ginger lip balm just for some regular moisturized lips. And that is my summer skincare routine. And with this, honestly, I really don't ever be needing to wear makeup. This is a close-up. A nice effortless glow we love it and that's it be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one